Minister Chan To. Welcome to CSIS. Uh, Minister Sun Chan To is the Minister of Commerce in Cambodia. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. You have been uh, introducing some reforms as the Minister of Commerce to try to make it easier for business to export, to trade, and also to tackle some corruption issues in mm -hmm. Cambodia. Can you tell us in a few sentences what you've achieved, what you've been well, doing? Well, two major systems that we are in the process of doing is the online company registration and the uh, company uh, the, uh, certificate of origin. So that's going to be going to automate those two systems. Why we do that? We do it to make life easier for exporter, for people doing business in Cambodia, to facilitate trade and investment and also to cut down on corruption. When you eliminate or reduce the interface human interface between the government official and the private sector, you can cut down on corruption. So some foreign companies, uh, particularly in the garment sector, have expressed concerns about labor rights and working conditions in Cambodia. What, what are you doing to tackle some of these issues? We are working very closely right now. We take the input advice recommendation from ILO, International Labor uh, Organization. We all, uh, work also with World Bank to address the method of calculating the minimum wage before we do not know how to do it, how to do calculation of the minimum wage scientifically. But now we work with them to calculate the minimum wage to address the concern that a worker been asking to double the minimum wage. So we want to make sure that we do it properly, properly and also we in the process of, of, uh, of finalizing union law to allow the union to be formed properly and to regulate to, so they understand the role and responsibility of the union with the role and responsibility of the employer and of the government. Last year in the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business report, annual report, Cambodia slipped a little bit in its ranking. What do you think caused that and how are you trying to address some of those concerns? Again, so the automation processes that we're going to be put in place will help improve the ranking. I talked to the World Bank. We dropped two points, I think from 135 to 137. I mean, it was at 135 to 137. I told the World Bank that my commitment is to increase, to improve 10 points for every point that I lose. Okay, so we work closely with them right now on automation, on changing the capital requirement for today to set up a company, there's minimum requirement of a capital. We're going to eliminate that. That will improve us a few points. So after looking at the numbers, I think we'll be able to increase probably nine, ten points. Just a few processes that we tweak, that we change. Now, your neighbor, Thailand, has had many Cambodian workers over the years. Uh, and they've had a coup, and the coup has instituted some pretty draconian measures. And many Cambodians, up to 160, 180,000, have fled back to Cambodia in recent weeks. How are you uh, trying? To, what are you able to do to find jobs for these newcomers? Which is uh, as of uh, yesterday, I think over 200,000 has across have returned back to Cambodia. First, Cambodian government provide them with emergency relief, uh, uh, financial, food, and so on. That first step, emergency, got to do it, got to take care of them. Send a car, truck, van to pick them up, to send them back to the villages so they can stay with their family. Secondly, we will have a training program, retraining program, if they want to work, if they work in Thailand in the agricultural sector and they want to work in the government industry, then we will train them to that sector. We will also process the application if they want to go to other country to work legally not illegally, then we will doing that also. We reduce the fees. Before you had to pay the fees for the passport, for the paperwork, very expensive. Now our prime minister decided to charge only $4 to process the paperwork for them to go to work legally overseas. And we work very hard. My trip to the U.S. with the U.S. ambassador is part of reverse trade mission to expand trade, investment, open more market for Cambodian products, attract more FDI from the U.S. 
to Cambodia to create jobs for them, to create better paying jobs so that they don't have to migrate to work in other country. Minister Sun Chanto of Cambodia, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.